once you've implemented the plant and the operators are running the plant and you have thousands of objects under the faceplates and screens that are in the system, then of course the challenge becomes how do I know what is going on where? And to address that, we have implemented an ability in PCS7 to treat the tech database as an information repository. And based on that information repository, we can filter for tags that have certain specific aspects to them. And a very useful example is, for example, to see which, which loops are in manual, which uh, devices are currently being interlocked, or more important, which devices with interlocks are currently being bypassed. Now, to give, you, give the user and the operator in the plant direct access to those kind of pieces of information, so in my pool of thousands of devices, which ones are currently being interlocked, we have introduced a capability in PCS7 called the Tag Browser. The Tag Browser lists the tags for the whole plant per area. The user can select which pieces of the plant should be focused on and gives the user a set of buttons to allow only those devices to be shown that have that status. And once that device is there, they can of course immediately jump to it, open it and take a corrective action if need be. So let's say for instance this pump here that, that is interlocked currently and uh, down here. So if we want to see more about what's going on here in the tech browser, we can simply jump to it. It opens up a dialog that gives us a list view and a selection view. In the list view, I can select any area in the plan that I'm interested in, or all areas, of course. And now in the selection view, I can select which devices are actually currently being interlocked in the plan. And as soon as I touch that button, the list is being uh, shown for all those valves, motors that are being interlocked. For instance, this PID loop is being interlocked, and I would now be interested in knowing more about that PID loop. And that's very easy, of course. I can just double click on it, and it will open up the faceplate with all the details that I would like to have. So I can immediately see here that that interlock detection was correct. It's interlocked for a reason that I can interrogate in more detail, as explained before, with the interlock strategy. But I can also say, then, of course, say I like to uh, jump to the process graphic that uh, this PID loop belongs on. And if I then subsequently close my uh, dialog, I automatically show go to that process graphic and the PID loop that I selected is highlighted. So this way, there is nothing hidden in the temp plant. There is, of course, alarms going to the operator. They are proactively announcing that the things are not as they supposed to be. But all these things that are semi-static uh, informations or statuses of devices that could be interesting to check on a shift changeover or uh, other moments in time like that during the shift are available at the fingertips of every operator by simply going to the tech browser filter for the areas that they're interested in, pick the conditions or states they're interested in, and the list will be shown to them and more details are provided. If the operator has uh, worked on the PID loop and uh, decided that something there's nothing wrong with this and he would like to leave a memo for uh, the next shift, then that feature is supported as well. So an, an operator user can leave a, a notification behind in any dialog and if the notification is uh, interesting enough, this can be flagged as an active memo setting, meaning this is a new notification that I put in. And the next shift operator can then, in the tag browser, find all the tags with the notifications that are triggered into the system. Now, one of the features of this dialog is also that we offer the operator access to three standard operating procedures that are built using web technology, uh, standard in the system available, and with, those, uh, with that access, the operator can learn more about the context of the measurement, get details or URLs or links to additional documentation in the customer's documentation system. So the PID loop not only becomes something we can find in the tech browser, it's not something that just runs on a piece of equipment, but also becomes a pure information repository that the operators can take advantage of.